Yeah, hi. Um, Saturday. <clears throat> Today, I just want to talk about something that I know everybody struggles with. Pretty much everybody in, in um, well, anybody, is timing. And, like, we, we feel certain things. We know certain things. It could be, you know, something that we know is, is, is going to happen. You know, we see it and we feel it and it's, it's not manifesting. And sometimes this can go on, whew, it's, you know, for a while and it's very frustrating and it's, you know, the always, it's always, we, yeah, of course, d divine timing, trust God's plan. Um, we we can't control reality, but we, we do create it. And and this is the. It's like, I guess it's a duality between spirit and matter, or heart and soul and mind, and between us and others. We don't control the whole thing or or do we I, you know i don't know but anyway so this is you know timing is well and this you know maybe i'll tilt this make it look better it's just like distorts it just like you know makes me look fat i'm you know it's these cameras they just distort and it's very odd but anyway so timing for me and for many has always been very very frustrating and a lot of people, you know, around my household make fun of me. Oh, mom, when is this going to happen? Because all my, you know, lofty predictions of this and that, you know, it hasn't panned out. And I remember being very frustrated when my, when my kids were older, you know, when they were teenagers and they didn't need me so much and I, I wasn't so hands-on. I had a lot of, I started to have a lot of downtime and I started to have a lot of sadness as well of the loss of, I really enjoyed when my children were little. I was full on gung-ho um, every day. You know, my Leo moon, um, Mercury, I mean, my Mars and Cancer, and this is, you know, a, a tiger mom or a bear mama. And, you know, I just, I enjoyed um, so much. I, it was my calling to be their mother, to be their best mother. And I enjoyed, you know, the games and the lightheartedness and the friends over, their friends over and the children playing and they got into all kinds of stuff. I was I was a yes mom and the kids they just had to be nice and share. That was like my two rules. You could be ni be nice and share. But other than that, you know, they made messes and you know, I cleaned it up and it was all kinds of, you know, the whole neighborhood would come over and we would have moon bounces and water gun fights and I would very cheerfully um you know, provide this kind of play space for my children and their friends and I enjoyed it so much and so of course the loss of that when my children were you know out of the house when they would not have kids over but they would go out you know unseen places and I wouldn't know when they'd come back I mean I would know but it would be like waiting you have to wait to cook dinner or wait to pick them up it was it was very different and there was a lot of space I was still needed but I had space I had free time and it I was and also depression you know um one of my children had went into very severe depressions which was a whole other thing you know he stopped going anywhere so there was a lot of loss and sadness of I had tried so hard and it faded. And in that space, I was trying to find myself. I was, I was going to meditation groups. I was 
doing this job or that job. I would get jobs. I, you know, I had a lot of jobs. I think some people have a mistaken feeling about me that I'm somebody that's never worked, but I've worked in offices and in investment companies, the art museum, um, many retail stores, um, different things. Um, but I was always searching for that group whether it was a meditation group, um, a spiritual group, and I went to all these things. Oh, Linda, why don't you just, you know, try? You know, I went, I went to all the things. I went to any any door that opened. I went through it, and I followed it, and I sincerely tried, but I, I never fit. And so then I was very frustrated. And this I know is an INFJ thing we sometimes do not fit in existing structures. It's too for up to us to create the new structure. And this is what, this is what happened to me is when I was very um, searching and nobody saw it coming. Like nobody saw it coming because I said that I, I had studied writing I say painting, why well, I'm so poo, practical. I studied abstract painting. I was a really incredible abstract painter, and um, but I got out of art school and I didn't care anymore. I knew I wouldn't pursue it. I, I did very large canvases. I knew I wouldn't have the energy to um, pursue, to get a big loft somewhere, uh, to work jobs, to get a big loft somewhere in a bad neighborhood to have my paints and, and I didn't care enough to do it. And so I, I didn't do it. And I realized I wanted to be a writer. I, I've, I've been a lifelong, you know, keeping a diary obsessive. I've talked about this. I always been a writer, well, since I was 15. And my books, my <laughs> diaries could fill a room, papers, diaries, notes, um, but so then I studied creative writing and wrote a very bad novel. I, ju I just couldn't access anything. Then I had the children and then I was searching, but I'm much more extroverted now. I kind of, I guess with having the kids, I kind of burned off a lot of my shame or what made me introverted. And I was looking for connection. So I said, I don't want to be a writer because good God, this is the least connected you sit by yourself and what I was trying to not do <laughs> was sit by myself. I was looking for the group. I was looking for the connection and what found me was not a group, but what found me was Donatella and I don't even know anymore how she first came to me, but my whole life looking back, I've had visions of her and then I met some people you know, just the doors opened and they were part of that story. They were part of that story in Venice and they, they told me things. And so for a while, it was this incredible, I found it. I found my purpose, which was to write about Donatella and the writing of it was not so much introverted. It was, I would play my music and I would go into these, visual spaces in my head which was really channeling but I would see sound action lights like a like a movie and then I would and I would dance and <laughs> this was before I did my dance videos but this was all it was very visceral and a very visceral almost like a possession where what Donatella was came through me and she was a lot um is a lot and it's so it was very transformative of all my energies and chakras and many many things i became like a different person but this is um so i was looking for the job i was looking for the group i was looking for the place i belonged and instead a, a personal project found me a private project found me which i would work on on my own and so now I'm at another, you know, hurry up and wait moment. 
where I've gone almost as far as I can go on my own with carrying. I, I feel like this is when I, it's been six years almost to the day. In August, I started writing Donatella six years ago, but I, I knew about it six years ago. And it's the, it's an epic story. It's an epic, true history. It's a lot for one person <laughs> to carry and it is ex in the, in the written, the novel, however it is, it's 600 pages. And I've written a screenplay, episode one. I did that about a year ago. Well, it took me several months, but still there was, to market that screenplay is very difficult. I've done other posts about that, marketing a screenplay. When you're unknown is very, any, basically anybody that could produce it doesn't want to hear from you unless they know you. So, um, so I'm at another juncture, and I have been for a couple of years, which is like, hurry up and wait. And what I do with that time, because I'm too restless to write, I, I, I do my videos, and it, sometimes Donatella comes through, other time other characters, other aspects, or I just channel a situation. And I, this is, it's almost like in, until I make my contact, the universe says, we'll do this. So I'm, I'm putting out content for my connection with the universe, but I'm also doing it. There's, it's just, it's not really time filling as much as the energy has to go somewhere. So today is another day and with the timing, what's happening, what's happening today? Do I wish other things were happening? Do I wish, yes, I do. Instead, I'm here and I'm talking to you. And um, so that's just it, the timing. Um, it can, we can work for something, think we're looking for something and it's out of the blue. It's something else that the universe says no this is it this is what you're looking for and it and when it hits us you know we don't question we just know <laughs>